Hey everyone, welcome to episode five of Kinder Coffee School. Today, we'll be discussing batch brewers. We are well aware that most of you are brewing on batch brewers at home. These machines come with a ton of positives and conveniences. However, there are some major negatives as well. Today we wanted to chat with you all about how to get the most out of your machine. Because there are so many different brands out there, we'll try to remain as broad as possible with our advice. You'll have to get more specific tactics from your system's manufacturer. There are several key steps that go into making a cup of coffee. Your water, the water temperature, the beans you use, the proportions, the grind size. The first thing you can do to guarantee a better, more consistent cup of coffee is to buy a burr grinder. We'll talk more in depth about grinders in another episode, but a burr grinder gives you the most control and consistency for grinding beans. Unlike with a blade grinder, where those blades pulverize some beans and leave crater-sized beans in the same batch, the burr grinder cuts each bean to the same size, which allows the water to evenly extract each bean. Our goal when brewing is for the brewing water to evenly touch each bean and remove the flavors similarly. Otherwise, you are left with some bitter flavors and some plain boring flavors and a lot of very inconsistent brews. The next step, water and water temperature are an important step in making a better cup of coffee. A simple rule of thumb is, if you don't like the taste of your water by itself, you shouldn't use it for your coffee. There are companies that make water specifically for brewing coffee. However, we feel it's much more practical to just start your coffee journey using water you think tastes great alone. Water temperature also plays a big role in your coffee. You ideally want the temperature to be between 195 and 205 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything below that and you won't be able to extract all the flavors. Anything above that and you'll start to over extract the flavors and gain some bitter and off tasting flavors that we don't like. Not every machine will have an adjustable temperature, but if it does, these are the numbers you want to aim for. Weigh your beans. I know this seems tedious and more effort than it's worth, but each bean is a different size. Your scoop of beans one day can be have a completely different amount of coffee than your scoop the next day. Believe it or not, making coffee is, is more of a science than an art. And one of the easiest ways to guarantee your cup of coffee tastes the same every single time is to make sure you're adding the same amount of coffee. The final tip we have for you today is use whole beans. Coffee beans are made up primarily of wood. They are the pit or seed of a cafe of fruit and only a small percentage of the bean has a desirable flavor. Immediately after being ground, those particles, flavors and gases start to release and escape the bean. You are left over with stale wood seed and the roast flavor from the roasting process, nothing else. A lot of really fun, complex flavors are lost and a plain, boring cup of coffee is left. If you can move your morning coffee process in these directions and adopt these simple steps, you will have a better cup of coffee. You won't be able to dial it in the first time, but start slowly and change one thing at a time until you have the cup of coffee you enjoy. Because there are so many conveniences with a batch brewer, Several companies have invested a ton of time and resources into making a machine that has more precise functions. Some of those machines create a really reliable and satisfying cup of coffee. If you are looking for a really high quality drip machine that you can rely on, we will add a link to this video where you can check them out. Thanks again for joining us at Kinder Coffee School. Our promise here at Kinder Coffee Lab is to continue to bring you extremely fresh coffee, deliver it to your door, and give you a cup of coffee that you are proud to share and enjoy. Thank you.